Hi, my name is Jason Arrigo. I'm Applications Engineer for the Texas Instruments Simple Switcher Power Module Group. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the LMZ3 1710, one of 13 devices in the LMZ3 Power Module family. The family can be powered from input voltages up to as high as 50 volts and output currents up to as high as 30 amps. The power modules include a controller, MOSFETs, shielded inductor and passives, all in an over-molded QFN package. The LMZ3 1710 device is a 10 amp device which is packaged in a 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter QFN package. So I'm going to demonstrate today some of the features of the LMZ3 1710. And those features are synchronization, uh, the sync out clock feature, and also the parallel feature. Uh, and and to do that today, I have a setup here that includes a function generator, which is going to supply the external clock for synchronization. Also, we have two digital multimeters that are monitoring the output current of each device, and also uh, an oscilloscope to monitor both the input voltage and output voltage ripple, and also the phase node of the both of the LMZ31710 devices on the board. Uh, also, I have an input voltage power supply to supply power to the board, and also my load to draw the current from the board. So, I'm going to start out by showing the synchronization feature. So, the board is configured here to, um, to be running. Right now, it is running out of sync. So, both power supplies are running at their own frequency, which are close to one another, but they're slightly, uh, slightly off of the same frequency. The oscilloscope is showing, on the top, the top waveform is showing the, the input voltage ripple. The middle pink waveform is showing one of the phase nodes, and the bottom one is also showing, uh, the bottom green one also shows one of the phase nodes or the switching nodes of the power supply. So what we see from this waveform is that as I zoom out, we see that the switching frequencies are not exactly the same. So what that is doing, as we look at the waveform, is, is that as, as the bottom frequency is moving around, we're seeing that these are not the same frequency. And what that does is it creates a beat frequency on the input voltage ripple. As I trigger on this waveform, I'd like to point out that what we're seeing is because of the frequencies being out of sync, is that we also have a beat frequency on top of the input voltage ripple. So by introducing the external clock, and I'm, I'm going to apply a 300 kilohertz clock to the, to the input of the devices, and by, by placing this jumper on here, both devices are going to be synchronized to the same frequency. So as you notice now, the input ripple is now at one frequency, the same frequencies as the uh, switching nodes of both devices. And as I zoom out, we see that both devices are in phase with one another and are operating at the same frequency. Another feature of the device is the sync out, uh, sync out clock. So what that is, is there's a sync out clock that operates, that switches at the same frequency as the, the device, the switching frequency of the device, but is phase shifted 180 degrees out of phase with, the, with that device. So by applying the by applying the jumper in this position here I'm able to apply a clock frequency to one of the devices that is now as you can see 180 degrees phase shifted and so what that does is it also reduces the input ripple of the device so by synchronizing we've eliminated the beat frequencies we're now only having one frequency that we're operating at one frequency to deal with but now by phase shifting at 180 degrees out of phase, we're still operating at that same frequency. It's just they're drawing current at opposite times from the input, which, do, which reduces the input voltage ripple. So that's one of the features that we're going to demonstrate today. The other um, the feature that we're going to demonstrate is the parallel ability of the LMZ31710. So the LMZ31710 can be paralleled up to 60 amps of output current. So 
This here is a schematic of the LMZ3-1710 in parallel. This is very similar to the board that I have demonstrated here, and I'll be demonstrating this setup in a little bit. The LMZ3-1710, the layout of the device allows us to kind of build and select the amount of output current we need in a building block fashion. So as you see from this slide, one device, two devices, four devices, or six devices for up to 60 amps can easily be placed, like cut and paste, into your design. So now I'm going to demonstrate the parallel feature uh, on the demo board again. So I've, I've shut off the device. I'm going, to, I'm going to just change the we still need to synchronize the devices. In order to parallel, it's required that they're synchronized to the same frequency. So I'm still applying the 300 kilohertz clock in to synchronize both of these in phase. So now, in this setup, I have 12 volts input, 1.8 volts output, and I'm delivering 18 amps of output current. So as we see from, oh, it's, and, I, and I, I'm going to shut off the input voltage ripple now, since we already saw that, and I'm going to switch to the output voltage ripple. So now we're looking at the, at the oscilloscope, and what we have on the oscilloscope is the output voltage ripple and both switching nodes, or both phase nodes, of the power supplies that are being paralleled. And we see that it's operating, they're operating in phase with one another. And so now we're also able to use the sync out feature to also improve our output voltage ripple. So if I were to, I'm gonna to have to shut this off to do this, but I'm going to remove that jumper and sync it 180 degrees out of phase. And as I turn it back on, now we see that both of the switch nodes are 180 degrees out of phase, and it's also reduced our output voltage ripple. So as I mentioned before, we're monitoring the output current with the digital multimeters here. Both of the output currents are very close to one another which is a good thing when we're trying to current balance. Current balancing is important when paralleling multiple devices because we don't want one of the devices to be doing more work than the other, which will cause it to overheat or go into overcurrent condition. So what we've demonstrated today is the LMZ31710 is a good choice for increased current applications with its ability to be paralleled and also to be synchronized to an external clock. For more information, visit ti.com slash simple switcher and click on the power module link. Thanks for watching.